Is it just me or has Fusie actually legit gone insane? Shirts off, pants down, what's up everyone? Kenny KO back with another video, and I guess this is gonna be a topic that's not necessarily concerning fitness. But many of you may be aware of FoosieTube, who also, by the way now, has name changed to Rose. Wait, if you see me in the streets now, you can also call me Rose. Now, I don't know if it's just me noticing this, but if you guys watch FoosieTube, by the way, this is not me hating on FoosieTube, I'm a big fan of FoosieTube. In fact, I used to watch FoosieTube all the time back in the day up until I found out he faked a lot of his pranks. But I got genuinely concerned when everything I see on Drama Alert and these big YouTube channels and content creators are basically putting out clips of how FoosieTube has legit lost his mind. And at first when I saw that, you know, I was thinking to myself, it must just be false media. They're trying to get views, they're trying to pull in basically their AdSense and their revenue for the month. But then Fousey starts posting some clips, turns off his comments, his like-dislike bar on YouTube, withdraws from social media, starts doing all these outrageous things, and this is just my opinion on the subject. I don't know if he was on meds and came off, if he started taking certain meds and he's not, you know, responding well to them. But I'm gonna run a couple clips for you. Let's run that first one here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and why I'm making this video in the first place. You can also call me Rose, because that's my new name. I just wanna let y'all know that God provided me a huge opportunity. I literally got the blessing that I've been manifesting for years. The only problem is, I don't got the money right now to, you know, sustain it, to get it. I'm not worried. I wrote myself a check today for $1 million and I dated it for August 8th, 2018. I don't know where that money's gonna come from, but I believe that it is gonna come. One million dollars are gonna help me supply the next, I don't know how many years of my life. God would not have given me this opportunity if he didn't believe that this one million dollars was coming. Do you believe in me? I believe in you. That's what we do. Keep hustling. Pray for me, y'all. I need one million dollars in 48 hours. Pray for me. <laughs> now to break down that clip, it's pretty self-explanatory and straight to the point. But FoosieTube, for whatever reason, chose to rename himself to Rose because apparently he's a rose that grew from the concrete. And I don't know where FoosieTube, down his line of his career, if he's trying to, you know, I guess pull a Jim Carrey scenario where all of a sudden he goes bonkers and batch crazy. No, no, Exposed. because no. there is no me, no self. Uh, Jim Carrey is gone, actually never existed. And I know that now, so I'm able to take gigantic chances with this thing that people know as Jim Carrey. To try and pull in possibly more views and recognition and publicity. But what he is preaching, and like I said, where his personality all of a sudden shifted to a totally alternate personality, I have no idea. And like I said, I don't know if it's because of meds, I don't know if it's some social media thing and he's trying to go viral again. I really don't know the logical reason behind it. Let's run another clip here. To get this message off, man. All day and night on my phone, I have people saying, why ain't you ever take care of Jose the Uber driver like you promised? I did, I just didn't make a YouTube video about it. Why didn't you pay Alan, the kid you met at the beach, the $6,000 you promised? I did, I just didn't make a YouTube video about it. Hey Yusuf, why ain't you buy your mama house? I did, why don't you buy your dad a house? I did, hey Yusuf, why'd you kick your friend Ahmed out of your life like a bad habit? Actually, I flew him to LA, I put him on salary, he's chasing his dreams now as he's supporting mine. If y'all took a second to stop trying to make me look like a bad person and started to find the good in people, I promise you, you're not gonna hate your life as much as you do, man. Kick the devil off your team, invite God onto your team, man. Y'all are living wrong. You ain't affecting my life, baby. I'm living my dreams, I got God on my side. You're affecting and hurting your life. Stop judging, you making yourself look like an asshole. Love. And then on top of FoosieTube's rants about, you know, making himself a million dollars in just 48 hours and to pray for him to make his one million dollars, like I mentioned, it's almost like kind of clout chasing for those of you who know what clout is. I feel like he's become the clout god of YouTube now. Not just with disabling his comments, his like dislike bar. All the time he's talking about money now, how much he makes, how much he's giving to people, how much he's helping the community, how much he's doing, how much he's changing people's lives. And he feels the need to justify what he's doing, even though he says he's doing it 
through God and through his faith and through actually genuinely wanting to help change people's lives. He feels the need for self-recognition to acknowledge the haters that are apparently reaching out to him and say, hey, I am doing this, I am doing that, I am doing, giving this much money to this certain individual. And it gets to a point where it's like, okay, now you're just flexing how much money you're making in order to try and bring in views. And like I said, it's almost like clout chasing in a sense. And Fusi, if you're watching this, like I said, I'm not hating on you, I love your content, at least your old content for that matter. I don't know what sparked this, maybe you can give a little insight into what exactly sparked this huge drastic change. Like I said, I don't know if I've ever seen a personality change this extreme since when Jim Carrey had his like mental breakdown just a little while back. But I guess this was just a quick story guys, you know, maybe a little update for those of you that were FoosyTube fans, but I guess you can't really call him Fousey or FoosyTube now because he has now renamed to Rose. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet, please make sure to go ahead and do so. And as always, make sure to stay shred, stay aesthetic, signing out.